This is the Atoll S by Silence Corner. Never heard of it? Neither had I. They claim this can turn your camera from shooting horizontal to vertical in seconds. In this video, I'm gonna share with you the unboxing, my first impressions, and whether or not this piece of metal is actually worth 109 bucks. So a couple weeks ago, I'm scrolling through Instagram and I see this reel about this crazy camera accessory. So I was super interested, found the website, researched the company, and when I clicked to order, they were sold out. And I was like devastated because this looks super cool. Found it on Amazon actually, ordered it, and it just came yesterday. So let's dive into the unboxing and some of my first impressions. So I have a Sony a7S III, so I chose the S size. We'll dive more into that when we get to the specs comes with a sticker and then it's padded in this nice foam so it's protected. Okay, so first impressions, it's made of high quality materials, like it's got a nice weight to it. Um, I love the feel, it's metallic. I believe this might be steel or aluminum. And then I went for the silver color, but it also comes in black. So I think this is the dark silver, but it comes in a black silver is what they call it. But overall, really impressed. Also has a couple of these Allen wrench, these hex tools, so you can adjust the sizing looks like. So before we dive into the specs, why shoot vertical in the first place? More and more content's being produced for your phone than ever before. TikTok, shorts, Instagram reels, it's all vertical format. If you're shooting horizontally and you crop in vertically, that is a great way to repurpose your content. That's what I've been doing for a long time, but you're missing so much of the information you could be utilizing with your sensor and pixels if you shot vertically specifically for that. So let's move into the, some of the specs. So for the Atoll S, the max lens diameter is 63.5 millimeters. So you have the ring base, which is right here. This is the ring, the collar, and then you have the tripod essentially where you're gonna mount it. And then this is the camera plate. So that's what goes on your camera. And then you can adjust it as needed. It also has three points of haptic feedback. So as you rotate it around, you have your 90 degrees, 180, then back to zero, and you can hear and feel that specifically, which is really nice. Rotating it around is really smooth in my testing, so it's really convenient. Something else is you can easily switch lenses in and out. So unlike a tripod collar that mounts directly to your lens, and then it's difficult to remove or rotate, this gives you easy access to any lens you need. So if you're switching from your 24 to 70, throwing on a 35 or a 50, you can do that seamlessly. It also maintains composition. So if you set up your frame horizontally and then you wanna do vertically, it stays in the center. Unlike an L bracket where you'd have to readjust and then change your tripod setup. So that's something else that's a nice feature. It comes in three different sizes. So I ordered the S size, but there's also a C size and a D size. The S is gonna be for like Sony mirrorless cameras. The C is gonna be for non Sony mirrorless and then D's for pretty much everything else. So when I was doing the unboxing, I was kind of curious what this was actually made out of. I thought it was steel. It's actually aircraft grade aluminum. Gotta add the aircraft grade, make it sound fancy. It is solid, it's built of good materials. This is the dark silver color. I really liked the look of it. You can also go with the black silver if you want it to blend in a little bit better with your equipment. And then the tripod mount, this is gonna be a quarter inch, so it should fit with most tripods and not interfere with any type of setup there. So on their website, it says it's compatible with Sony, Canon, Nikon, Fuji, Panasonic, Leica, and Olympus. So I've linked it below. You can check that out on Amazon and it should have sizing options. So make sure that it's the compatible one for your camera. So because it's built of aluminum, it comes in at 100 grams. So it's gonna be lightweight yet strong. I haven't noticed any huge differences in my weight overall with my setup, whether I'm taking photos or filming content. And then price-wise, it comes in at 109 bucks US. So is it actually worth the price? If you compare the Atoll S to an L bracket, L brackets can run anywhere from 20 bucks, which would be a lot cheaper, up to 200, which would be more. An L bracket is solid, it's built of good materials, but unfortunately, it's really inconvenient to use. You have to unscrew it from your camera when you're trying to get off your tripod and readjust everything. So convenience wise, the Atoll S beats out an L bracket. If you compare it to a vertical grip, that could run you two to 400 bucks. It gives you better battery life. It's really convenient for handheld shooting, but that just depends on if you're doing more handheld versus tripod or stabilizer. So it's not quite apples to apples, but it gives you an idea. Then we have the tripod collar. That's what goes over the lens, not necessarily the camera itself. Mounts there, and it's really nice for like shooting sports or wildlife, but then you can't switch out your lens easily and still have your setup. And then when you're trying to rotate vertically, if you do, sometimes it's hard to get it actually level. So that just depends on the type of shooting you're doing. Those can run 50 bucks, but it's not the most convenient either. And then really the last option would be a vertical capable tripod. So you may have seen those, you mount your camera this way and then you can rotate 
and then flip it vertically. But unfortunately, those tripods can run anywhere from 200, four, 500 bucks, and then your center of gravity is off. So if it's too heavy of a setup, it can start to tilt over if you don't have the right tripod. So that's not only more expensive, but also you have to reframe your shot and it's not really as stable as the Atoll S would be. And then two issues I've had so far for you to consider. So when I was mounting it to my camera, I had the base plate in, but this ring was catching the top lip of where my lens goes on. And I realized that if you rotate this, there's actually two screws here that you can loose and then raise or lower this as needed to fit your camera. So that wasn't necessarily an issue with this, just understanding that when you put it on your camera, you need to adjust it so it fits directly. And then something else is, when I rotate my camera, the direction it rotates, when it's vertically placed, my LCD screen flips out on the bottom rather than the top. So it's really hard for me to monitor myself and like look at what the composition's looking like. If I had someone else on set, that'd be super easy and it wouldn't be a huge problem. But if you want this to shoot vertical video, short form content by yourself, just recognize that you may have to do a little bit of running around to see your shot and then make sure it looks good before you actually film. So what's my take? I think it's 100% worth it. I mean, it's built with great materials. It's lightweight. It's easy to put on your camera. You switch in and out the lenses. For similar options, it's either less expensive or way more convenient than the alternative. And this isn't sponsored. I bought this with my own money and I'd highly recommend it. So what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. If you're interested in picking one up, I've linked that below the like button. And thank you guys for watching and we'll see you in the next one. <laughs> Epic B-roll. Cool, B-roll, let's go. Okay.